Hello Bakers, today we are going to be talking about cloning object inside 3ds Max. Let's start! Now that we saw how to create and modify the base object inside 3ds Max, it's time for us to also see how to clone them. I've created already a box in my scene and to make a clone of it, we need to have selected our move tool, then hold shift and drag it in one of the axes. When we release, you will present a couple of different options. We have a copy, instance and reference. As well, we have number of copies. The difference is that if we make a copy, those two objects will be completely independent. And if I modify the parameters in one of the objects, it won't influence the other one. I'll delete this one and this time I'll create an instance. Instance, we still have all the parameters available, but if I modify the parameters in one of the objects, you can see that we change all of them. And the last one is reference. A reference is similar to instance, but this time we don't have any of the parameters to modify. Instead, the cloned objects are taking all the new information only from the initial one. Another thing that I wanted to show is about the number of copies. So if I clone it, then click copy and I will increase the number to three. We are going to create three copies and they will be offset from each other with the same amount that we offset the first one. Another thing that I want to show you is when we select, you can see that we have our gizmo in the very bottom of our object. Instead, I will move it outside and I will show you one more way that you can create clones while mirroring all the information of the object. First, we are going to move the, the gizmo. This is happening from our third tab, error key. We are going to the first tap, adjust pivots, affect pivot only. You can see that our arrows changed. And now we can move the arrows outside the object and turn it off. We didn't modify anything of the position of the object, we only modified the position of the pivot for the object. What this does is it moves the pivot, so now it's outside the object and if we want to rotate it, it's going to rotate around this pivot. As well, now we can do things like the cloning and mirroring our object. I'll move it so that the pivot is roughly on the center of our scene and then I'll come here on the top and click mirror and you can see that it just mirrored the object on the other side but it didn't create any copy. Here we have a different clone selection so we can again create a copy, an instance or a reference and as well we can modify this to be on different axes. When we are happy with the result we can click OK and now you can see that we have already two objects. Another thing is that we can also clone objects not only while we are moving them but also when we are rotating them. I will turn off the rotation tool and then while holding shift I will rotate them and make two more copies. Thank you for joining me in today's tutorial, leave a like and a comment down below. Also check some of my other videos, especially the one for world creator as at the moment I'm making a giveaway and you can win one free license. We are going to pick the winners on 3rd of September. See you next time.